Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Oxygen Not Included. I am Nanamite and today I'll be dealing with Chlorine. Yeah, because we all love that stuff, don't we? Now, this video may be a bit of a messy for you, because I try to keep this thing as a guide, but I have to actually play the game in order to show you the results, okay? I think this is actually the best option to do, because you actually see what I'm doing. So, uh, this is not like a per se, you need to do this shit. It's more of a, like, I'm trying to show you how you can do certain stuffs, but then you have to adjust those stuffs when you actually be building your very own colony. So, uh, I did this thing in the previous one. Let's assume this is like a let's play, guide, whatever thing. We did all of this thing last time, right? So we got food, we got energy, we got some oxygen production, we have some food. Some is like a big word, because I am not making even like remotely the amount I need of food. So basically if you get to this point in oxygen not included, you need to start searching. You need to se start to search for those cracks, okay? So inside of those cracks you can either find food, seeds or uh, the hatchlings. The hatchlings will basically try to eat your resources. So try to save them, especially like sand, like, because that sand like actually be useful. And of course copper, because copper is like a pain in the ass to get, at least for me, okay? Copper, sand, and algae. Those three materials are like the most needed at the very beginning. So we got some plants over here, like millwood. Like getting the idea of your surrounding is actually like a uh, good thing to do. When your duplicates are actually like working around in the colony, just try to look around and see what you have, uh, like what type of resources you have to, to use, right? So we got chlorine over here, we got some swamp biome over here, some water over here, lots of copper over here, another swamp biome here. I think this is... Oh, so this is what the noise is making. Okay, so this is another thing, okay? This is a special resource, okay? You can't, you can't dig through this thing. Even with explosives, even with a bloody ass rocket engine, you just can't. So you're probably like wondering, what the fuck is this thing for? Uh, there are structures in Oxygen Not Included that require a base, a solid base to stand on, okay? Especially geysers and volcanoes. So that means, and you can see, hear this noise, right? That's not a normal noise. That noise actually indicates that there's some type of generator over here. It's either could be, let's say, polluted water, clean water, polluted oxygen, hydrogen, chlorine, uh, like an actual volcano. I think there's also a thing called liquid iron, which would be very good to get because I have very limited amount of iron over here, so... You get the idea, okay? That could be uh, like a lot of things over here, but the thing is that before you're gonna get to this thing, you need to actually be prepared, because once this thing gets unleashed, it could be a bit of a problem. So this thing is inside of the swamp biome, okay? I did like the uh, scouting around before the actual like episode. Uh, the thing is, we have to deal with germs in this biome, especially the slime long. Like this is a really dangerous one. Um, it can get out of control really easily. So, thankfully, there's chlorine nearby. And we're gonna use this chlorine to get rid of this thing. Uh, how exactly? I'm gonna show you, I hope I'll be able to show you today, how to store chlorine, and we're gonna try to do some digging. So, uh, let's actually go to the research thingy. Now, what we will need to separate those two things? Like, what exactly are the research that you should try to get at the moment, to even play with that thing? Uh, what I like to get is the obviously you need uh, plumbing and you're gonna need filtration for the gas filter for that and also you're gonna need an actual gas pump so we need to get this and we need to get this okay so this thing requires just the basic research center so we can get this thing without much of a problem so let's do that thing in the meantime we need to take care of food so as i said we got like a bunch of meal woods over here like three and four over here. So that's four seeds, four plants we could try to use on a little farm that I have over here. So the thing is that what I recommend is actually build like additional farm tiles, like such. And then we have to dig all the way down. Now, because this hole over here, uh, all the carbon dioxide that we have at the base, and also there's some carbon dioxide over here. Now, people think that carbon dioxide is bad. Carbon dioxide is not exactly bad, it's oxygen. Right? You just have to, well, help a little bit to transform this thing back into actual oxygen. So, you have like a bunch of tools to get that thing. For example, we have the algae terrarium. Now, we can try to automate the uh, algae terrarium. 
because this thing actually requires some maintenance. It requires water, uh, it's gonna produce polluted water, so you need to take out the polluted water, you need to put in clean water. But you can actually automize this thing if you really want to. I'm not gonna try to do it today, because that thing will require from me to get the pumps as well. It will require from me to get the small battery, it will require from me to get the coal generator, and so on and so forth. So, not gonna try to do that thing today, but I will try to actually use that thing. Another thing is that really good idea to put the Algae Terrarium next to a shiny bug. Because if you're gonna give light to the Algae Terrarium, then basically uh, it's gonna increase its productivity, which is like good. And you're probably like wondering how I'm gonna transform, uh, transport this carbon dioxide from here all the way down here. <laughs> well, using physics. Oxygen not included is a game about physics, okay? So, the basic idea of carbon dioxide is, is that this thing is heavy. I think this is the heaviest gas you have in the game. So that means if I'm gonna make my way into this, like make a tunnel over here and through this thing, then all of this carbon dioxide sooner or later will go all the way down here, right? And we can speed up the process by digging this thing through. So the carbon dioxide will just go here, through this thing, over here, down here, and into the carbon dioxide container that we're gonna place here. I can still hear some noise. I kinda like wonder if there's another geyser around here. Maybe I've did miss something. So, the basic idea is simple. If you see the neutrium, that, that means there's possibly something over there and you probably should try to avoid that thing for now. And sometimes if you are like really lucky, the millwood, once it's gonna grow, is gonna produce additional seeds. So yeah, try to use that thing. So we got the basic research done. Now we can actually try to build ourselves the chlorine chamber. Uh, this thing would be actually like important in order to clear the, uh, the gems of the slime that we have in the swamp biome, you know, because like, look at this thing. Almost one million of germs try to destroy this thing, man. It's gonna be like a, yeah. <laughs> so, there is like a device in the game, it's called the old scrubber, uh, you have it over here. The thing is, like, when you're choosing to put like a, a room filled with, let's say, chlorine and then put in like a, like a, like a dispenser inside, like a storage container, it's gonna be more efficient than actually using the scrubber. Just, when you're gonna do that thing, be sure that you have like the, uh, the one with organic materials, be sure that you're not gonna have triggered here slime because by if by mistake you're gonna put slime with the germs inside of your base then that's gonna be a real disaster that's gonna be a real pain in the ass to remove okay so try to keep this thing in mind what exactly you're trying to store inside of the base inside of the inside of the safe safe area now since we are going inside of the granite area as well uh you need to be sure that you can actually dig through this thing so in in play comes the portal, you have to go into the duplicate skill, you need to find your miner, which is, for me, is this guy over here, and you have to get the hard mining. This thing will actually allow you to dig through granite, and also since I already uh, did quite a lot, I can also do the upslide mining. Now, upslide is, if I can only find it, is this thing over here. This thing basically separates the temperatures, so it's like really important later on in the game, where you have to deal with uh, cold and... Uh, hot temperatures, but for now we're not we are not gonna try to mine this thing because I'm like completely safe when it comes to temperature We have bigger problems. It actually took me a while to set up this thing, but now it's actually like ready So I'm gonna explain to you the brilliance of this thing. Okay, uh, I kind of like also forgot to, to build like storage base over here So bear with me for like a minute over here. Okay, this thing is max set to maximum uh, priority. Okay, so this is my storage room from Chlorine. Now, I know there are actual tanks, devices that you like build around and they are supposed to store like liquids or gases. But this thing is actually, the only purpose of this room is to clear the slam lung and everything else. As well as uh, have a farming space for the uh, healing herb, for the biome lily. Because this thing literally requires... <laughs> air pressure and chlorine and it's gonna just grow like crazy and this thing is like really cool because if you have this thing and you have those what well, oh oh there's a gas gas over here how nice uh there is uh what is this animal ah there it is this thing over here this thing can actually eat the the lilies okay and since it's gonna eat the lilies phone shut up if you could and uh, if i could only find this thing it extracts phosphorite Okay, and phosphorite you can use in order to fertilize your fields. Exactly not this one particular plant, but a different plant. 
So you get like this never ending circle of supplying you with food because this thing, as I said, the lily, it just requires chlorine and nothing else. You can just put it here, leave it completely, and it's gonna grow like from what I just fucking said. Told you to shut up. So the system is operational. Right now we are uh, extracting the carbon dioxide from this room because carbon carbon dioxide is literally the thing I do not need in this room. Uh, so yeah, I've looked at everything. I've set up the uh, the duplicates to start working on the on the trade mills, I guess for now. Yeah, I could try to set up like coal generators, but that's gonna be the thing I'm gonna probably to do maybe next time. So anyway, this pump over here is gonna extract the chlorine from here and possibly from here or. Well, this is a bit too too big of a room, so maybe we're gonna do with this thing something different. But anyway, extract this thing, extract this thing, filter it out here, go by piping system over here, and fill up this room, okay? Later on, after this thing will get filled, we got slime over here, see? This little trap over here that the devs have put. Literally filled with germs, okay? So if I would mine this thing out, it could actually be a fucking disaster. So keep that thing in mind. The idea is that fill this thing fill this room with chlorine, put the slime inside, and wait for the chlorine to do its work to clear up the gems. And you're gonna have technically clean slime that later on you can try to use in the research center if you're actually gonna like develop this thing. And there's a device called where was that thing? There it is. The algae distiller. Refines slime into algae. So you get the idea why this thing is one of the most important things. That's the first thing. The second thing that inside of the swamps you get the gold algaman, which is very good for making devices that require good heat resistance. And also because like there's shitloads of polluted water over here. So we can filter this thing out and try to do something fancy with it. You also got mushrooms. So yeah, the swamp, as much as it's dangerous, it's also very beneficial to capture. In a matter of seconds, we actually managed to clear this room out of complete any like gases. So as you can see, there's only like 20 grams of carbon dioxide, which is like this is nothing. The pressure is just extremely low. Oh, see, the pumps already has like a problem to uh, extract the remaining of the carbon dioxide over here. So that's like a thing. Uh, if I remember correctly, though. There could be a problem because carbon dioxide is still heavier than chlorine So some of the carbon dioxide is gonna probably stay down here, but Yeah, well, this is one of the ways to do it Some of the places over here already are considered as vacuum by the game So that's exactly the thing I'm trying to achieve over here If you're gonna go to the oxygen layout Yeah, see, it's just milligrams and grams right now Barely any So we're gonna clear up this room completely, and after that we're gonna begin the salvage of chlorine. Okay, I think we're ready. So, yeah, some of the chlorine actually managed to like escape, but how that's like how many? Uh, 500 grams, so this is not big of a problem. It's just gonna like fly around. I'm guessing eventually the chlorine is gonna find its way... Uh, I, I don't know, somewhere outside. It's really hard to say. Nobody's gonna breathe it in, but this amount of chlorine is completely like not dangerous. It just happens, okay, when you try to open certain pockets and, you know, this is something you just have to live with. But anyway, time to lock this room. Uh, and after you're gonna lock this door over here, I'm gonna flip this switch and activate this pump over here. It's all about switching, you know, because I don't have to go directly into this room to activate the pump. I can just flip the switch. Okay, uh, door's closed. Now this room is gonna get completely vacuumed up, so this is gonna be our L lock. And time to flip this switch over here. So turn it on, if you could please. And yes, I got like a separate switch to control this pump if needed. Like if I have to turn it off, it's like not, that's not a problem. And there you go. Just remember that you need to have electricity actually to filter this thing out. So, you know, speaking of the devil. If somebody could actually like go over here and thank you, that's exactly the thing I wanted to do. Alright. So, we're gonna take all of this chlorine over here, and oh my god, look and behold, this room is already feeling good. So nice. Oh, there's even some oxygen over here, how nice as well, I guess. And yeah, this gas pump over here, its sole purpose is just to uh, keep the airlock, like, clean from any potential, like, chlorine leaks, I guess. The situation right now, some of the carb carbon dioxide actually managed, like, to combine together, and they're, like, sitting at the very bottom of this room. But, you know, the pressure of the chlorine will basically, sooner or later, squeeze it together, and it's gonna be, like, only one tile flying around. That's, that's the concept. I hope it's actually gonna work. So this room is already almost empty. There's only carbon dioxide over here, if I understand this thing correctly. The thing is that you need to inspect this, because carbon dioxide, as I said, is heavier than... 
uh, chlorine. So chlorine could possibly be like next to this door, but apparently there's only carbon dioxide right now. Yeah, there's only carbon dioxide over here. Okay, so we can open up the door. And what you could try to do now is that we're gonna try to dig through this thing here. And I'm just gonna make like a ladder, like such. And I'm gonna salvage myself one plant of this thing. I brought it and we're gonna put it inside of this farm over here. So basically this thing will start to grow. That is the concept of why I have put the farm tiles over here. You know, Mip, I really like, like your dedication, but what's the point of having a pump with open doors around here? Dude, stop, 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 stop. You don't have to do this thing, man. Move to the side. <laughs> it's a crazy bastard. All right. Anyway, get this tile over here ready. Uh, we got myself the seed over here, so I want to put the seed. Oh, I got 14 minute seeds? Seriously? That's nice. Uh, not this, not this. There it is. The lily. Oh, I kind of like hope I've actually made enough space for this thing because if I would have to redo this thing, it's gonna be a bit of a problem. And the lily is already inside. Growth halt because of that of the atmosphere. I do wonder though, can farm tiles? I don't exactly remember. Can farm tiles allow gases to pass? I may have actually need to make a floor over here, but no, I don't think this is an issue. This this should work like a normal flooring, actually. I need to check, just to be sure. All of this lovely line has been already extracted, and look at this. Oh, this is nice. Uh, why are you not growing? Atmosphere chlorine. Yeah, hmm. I'm guessing it's still like a bit... The problem with car carbon dioxide is like always an issue. Uh, okay, well, maybe I'm gonna find like a way around this thing like next time. So if you're gonna try to do this thing yourself, remember to take out all of the carbon dioxide just in case, okay? <laughs> you don't want any of that thing inside of this bullshit. Ah, crap. But anyway, let's actually see how this thing is gonna work on the actual task at hand, on this line that I have over here. So let's dig out, th let's dig out this thing over here. Now, dig out the slime. Uh, be sure that the slime will, will be actually put somewhere over here. So let's see. This is in the organic section. Okay, we don't have slime yet. So we have to wait for somebody to... Dude, what the heck are you doing? Don't tell me you cannot get down. <laughs> okay, that was like... <laughs> I don't know what you tried to achieve there, dude. <laughs> but I think you actually prefer to breathe from time to time. Uh, okay. Organic. Wait for it. Wait for it. It's not appearing over here. Why is it not appearing? Organic... There it is. Slime. Maximum priority. And grab it before it's actually like gonna split the pot uh, air around itself. Let's see. Okay, put it with oxygen so far. It's okay. Ah, shit. Some of the some of the gems managed to escape. But that's like only... F Ooh, that's not good. Yo, guys, you need to stop breathing that thing in, you idiot. <laughs> uh, every single... <laughs> Every single time. Oh, because I forgot to... No, wait, this is opened. You're supposed to put the slime inside of the box. Why is nobody doing this thing? Hey! Alert! Do this thing now! Hmm. I actually need, like, a volunteer over here. Why cannot pick it up? Top priority. Yeah. Where is somebody who can pick it up? Uh, guys, I don't think you understand the priority of this thing, you know? You actually need to do this thing now. I didn't put it over there for you to chill around. Oh no, the gems are increasing. <laughs> the gems are increasing. <laughs> the gems are increasing! Okay, I'm not exactly sure, but I think this, the actual gems died before this thing even managed to get, like, inside of the... of the storage room. I think. I'm not sure. So, let's try to experiment with this thing a bit further away, hmm? So, there's like a few slimes over here. Okay, an apenty slime cannot go on the polluted oxygen just yet. So, if I'm gonna technically build like a door, let's say... Here, but then again, there's like a thread that this thing will collapse. Yeah, because this is all algite. Okay, well, I could try to do this thing. Though, algite over here, it could try to contain gem Okay, it doesn't have any gems yet. So, we have to be really careful with this one. Really careful. Another test over here. So, bunch of slime. Dig it out. Slowly and steady. Uh, remember that technically the gems cannot transfer really well to granite, to igneous rock. They can transfer a bit to algite. Uh, and they, I think they can try to transfer to gold amalgam as well. Uh-oh. 
Dude, 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 you're gonna get stuck. Oh, thank God, you're not stuck. Okay, just remember to control the germs. And now he's polluted. So, he has germs on him. 37,000 germs right now. So, what he needs to do is that he needs to go into the chlorine room and he needs to stay there for like a second or two. So, I'm gonna basically force him to stay down here. Oh shit, don't! No, 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 sweep this thing, sweep this thing, sweep this thing. That was a mistake. <laughs> okay, he goes inside. And let's see how the uh, gems will now die. Oh, another person. Okay, good. So, just slow down the game. Yeah, because you can also use this room to clear out your duplicates if by mistake they're gonna like, get, like, polluted with gems. Like, if they're gonna have gems on their bodies. If they're gonna have the gems inside, chlorine is not exactly gonna work, you know? No, 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 you go back. How's the situation on this guy? You have 33,000 and this thing is slowly dying out. Okay, just go back. Just stay here, just stay here, just stay here. You're not allowed to move anyway. I won't let you stay where you are. You have to survive for this week, you know? Hold your breath tight, boys. <laughs> so we've managed to reduce the gems from 54,000 and 32,000 to 6,000 and 7,000. So yeah, they should like die out very soon either way. Like 7,000, we can deal with 7,000. 7,000 is not much. And look at this thing. There are, <laughs> there have been 100,000 gems, 10,000 and dying out slowly and steady. So this is how you're supposed to clean this thing. Now, I know you can try to use the old scrubber over here, but the thing is that this thing is gonna use chlorine. That's the first thing. So you're gonna, this is basically free. Like I'm not using chlorine. I'm only storing the chlorine over here, right? So this is basically like you make one room like this and you don't have to worry about it ever again. The biggest problem is just to set it up. And that's the first thing. And the second thing that the old scrubber requires an actual duplicate to work on it. And also sometimes there's like a thing that the duplicates may not use the old scrubber. And all of a sudden you wake up in your colony and your entire colony is dying because of the germs. So, and yeah, speaking of germs, I have some food germs around. <laughs> God damn it. So this is the thing I have to like work now on my own spare time because for now, ladies and gentlemen, I'm gonna leave this thing over here. I hope you have found this thing useful. Let me know what you think. And yeah, I'm gonna try to prepare a bit more of the rooms so the duplicates won't have to sleep in like barracks or whatever this thing is. So yeah, that's gonna take some time. But anyway, for now, I'm gonna leave this thing as of here. Thank you guys so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed the like, episode. It helps a lot. I'll see you all in the next video.